Hello, this is FlopTrendRiver.com, and in this video I will show you how to use the Full Tilt Poker Lobby, um, go over some options that will make your playing experience better and easier, and how to actually sit down at a table to get to playing. Um, first things first is, after you log in and you make your deposit, uh, you, you should have funds in your account and now you're ready to play. Before you do that, I suggest you click on options up here and there's some things you want to turn on which will make everything much easier the first I suggest is make sure that four color cards are checked it just makes it a whole it makes the suits four different colors and makes it a whole lot easier to know what the suits are on the board um, auto center is a really good feature on full tilt poker what this does is I'll, I'll go into more of these in detail later but this uh, puts your character in the middle of the screen at every table you're on so it's easy to know where you are. Um, display bet amounts. This displays the actual amount next to the bet which makes it easier. Um, pot total displays the pot. Highlight bet amount just makes it easier to see the bet amount. And the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure what you want to do is click on hand history. Now in here you want to make sure that save my hand histories is checked. And what a hand history is is in this in this folder location it will save every single hand that you play while you're on full tilt poker it will save it into a text file and you can go back and review every single hand that you've played and what you can actually do is on flopturnriver.com we have a hand converter where you can copy and paste these hands into there and then post them on our poker forum and on our poker forum uh, you can get advice from the veteran members and the people who are good at the game and they can tell you how you should have played it differently or just give you different advice. You want to make sure you, this number is large, something like 99999, because if it's at 30 it will eventually start erasing them. Um, so once you have those options turned on, you now want to find what you actually want to do. Uh, it's really easy to navigate if you want to play Hold'em, click Hold'em, Omaha. It's just these are the different kind of cash games that you can play. Now, if you want to play multi table tournaments, you click on Tournaments. It's very simple. Then you just, it lists the, the t when it starts, the type, the buy in, how many players. And everything here is sortable. You can sort it by when it starts, the game, the type, the buy in, status, or players. Everything's very easy to use. Um, now, if you want to play sit and go tournaments, you just go to the sit and go, and now you can click tabs all, the one table, multi table, matrix, heads up, and again, you can sort anything by just clicking here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sit down and play a no limit hold'em cash game. So, you want to click the hold'em tab and and the no limit slash pot limit tab right here. Now as you can see it's sorted by stakes and these are quite high and I don't most players won't be starting out in these stakes so I just click the stakes button here and it'll sort it again by the smaller stakes. Now I'm going to try to find a 5 cent 10 cent table where you can sit down and begin grinding and earning your $600 bonus which was mentioned in the first video. Now you want to make sure this is pot limit so I'm scrolling down to no limit here and I think I will see this table and you, all you do is double click on it and I see there's an empty seat here so I'm just gonna click on the seat and it'll bring up the get chip screen and this is how many chips you wanna buy you can see here it says you can buy in for anywhere from two dollars up to ten I'm gonna buy in for the max ten dollars okay now it's the next hand and it's asking me if I wanna post my blind and I'm gonna click on it and now it's just asking if I wanna always post my blinds when it's my turn and I'll check yes to that and as you can see I'm in the center of the table even though I clicked the table the the seat up here because that that's the center feature I was talking about and the display bet amounts see it shows 10 cents 10 cents it shows what the bet is and the total pot size so these are all just little options you can turn on to make it just a lot easier to play and I have a bad hand I'm gonna go ahead and check haven't picked up much just check it down well, this video just basically explained how to use the lobby, some options you can um, turn on to make your playing experience easier, 
and how to actually sit at the table and start playing. Basically, it's really easy to use, and you can be well on your way to starting your poker adventure. Um, thanks for watching this video, and remember to check out FloptonRiver.com, where you can get actual strategies from great players and read about bonus guides.